In this video, I will be giving an in-depth analysis of each team in the 2023 Metro Regional Tournament. Stay tuned to the end of the video, where I will give my official regional power rankings. New York will be represented by Massapequa Coast Little League from Massapequa. For the first time ever, a team has won the New York State Championship as 10-year-olds, 11-year-olds, and 12-year-olds. Massapequa Coast is the same team that made the Little League World Series last year, so they know what it takes to make it back to Williamsport. In close games, it seems like Massapequa Coast is always coming out on top. They are undefeated this summer, with a lot of their wins as 1-0 victories. They play error-free baseball and have great pitching from guys like Mateo Pipia and Jackson Henchy. New Jersey will be represented by East Hanover Little League from East Hanover Florham Park. This team upset the heavily favored Holbrook Little League team in the state final. But make no mistake, this team is extremely talented. They have a very good ace who shut out Holbrook in the state finals. East Hanover is an elite defensive team that can hit. If they pitch well in regionals, I could see them making the Little League World Series. R.J. Gosweiler is their center fielder and number two hitter in the lineup, who is extremely talented. Anthony Abrantz is their big stud, their top hitter and ace. Tyler Ciasolo is no slouch, one of their top hitters and shortstop. This team has already won 18 games this summer. Their experience factor could help them navigate their way through the tournament. Connecticut will be represented by East Lime Little League from East Lime. They have a good ace in Grayson Biggs, who throws upper 60s with a nice off-speed from a three-quarters arm slot. Kyle Selim has been raking at the plate this summer. This team does have two losses this summer, losing in both districts and states. So although this team isn't a world beater, they can compete with any team they play. If they have their ace on the mound, it will be hard to beat them. Rhode Island will be represented by Smithfield Little League from Smithfield. This is Smithfield's first state championship in 56 years. This team won state in extra innings on a walk-off double in the if game. In the seventh inning, Mason Dion delivered the walk-off hit to send Smithfield to regionals. Rhode Island lost their first game of states, but pulled off four consecutive victories, with three of those games being decided by one run. They have grit and determination, and are comfortable in elimination games. In regionals, they will have a tough first-round matchup against New York, but I could see them making a run from the loser's bracket. Now, for the power rankings, I will go from last to first. At fourth is Connecticut. At third is Rhode Island. At second is New Jersey. And at number one is New York, who is my pick to win the region. I expect this region to be very competitive, and I could see each team winning the tournament championship. Thanks for watching.